Hello, today I want to talk to you about a new feature on GoGuardian called Teacher Override. So I'm sure we've all been in a situation before where we go to assign some kind of website with an educational resource or we want our students to watch some kind of educational YouTube video and it ends up being blocked by the district's filters. In the past, you'd have to put a help desk to get in and you know beg and plead for them to unblock it, wait for it to happen, and then by then you're not even using that video or website anymore. Well, now we can temporarily unblock things using this new GoGuardian feature. So I can see here on my GoGuardian session screen that the student is trying to watch a video that has been blocked by the district filters. And this is a video that I have assigned for them to watch, so I do want them to have access to it. So what I'm going to do is click on the student screen. And I see here that it does say video is blocked, and I can see that the student is also seeing that on their screen as well. And all I have to do is go here to Actions and then click Unblock Videos. And the really cool thing about this is it will unblock it for all of your students. So you won't have to go through like each student's screen if you are using this for the entire class. And it's only going to block it for this current GoGuardian session. So that means that it, we're not permanently unblocking anything. It's just temporary. But that also means that if you are using this video in multiple classes, when your next class comes in, you're going to have to do this process again to unblock it for that class. So we're going to click Unblock Video. And then you're going to see here, as soon as this refreshes, that the student now has access to watch that video. And this does work for whole websites as well. So if there is a, an educational website that you're trying to access that is blocked, you're going to use the same exact process. And again, just remember this is temporary. So if you're using this in multiple classes or throughout multiple days, you will have to repeat the process each time you start a new Guardian session. But I hope that Teacher Override is useful for you in your class and that you're able to access more educational resources and videos for your students. Thanks.